Hello, and welcome to Handling History. I'm Teo, and today we're going to be looking at an early Christian gold coin. What we have today is a gold tremesis, or one-third solidus, of the Byzantine Empire Anastasius I. The coin was minted between 497 and 518 AD, created in numerous varieties and very high quantities, making it quite available in the coin markets today, and is one of the most affordable pieces of ancient gold coins that you can buy. On the obverse, we have the bust of Anastasius I in a very typical early medieval style, which was much more representative, not actually showing the portrait of Anastasius I, but more so the representation of an emperor. So Anastasius is wearing armor as well as a pearl diadem. And on the reverse, we have uh, Victory, kind of walking left there, holding the wreath and a globus cruciger. The Globus Cruciger is the globe with the cross above it that you often see in uh, Renaissance paintings as well. And it basically represents that the holder has the authority to kind of implement God's will on earth. And around the edge, we have the legend Victoria Augustorum, which essentially means victory to Augustus. Um, the Roman emperors were known as Augustus after the first Roman emperor, Augustus. It was, it was their official um, imperial title. So to most people living during this time, there wouldn't have really been that much of a clear distinction between the end of the late Roman Empire and the beginning of the Byzantine Empire, um, except for essentially in coins. Because after the fall of the Western Empire, the state of currency was basically in shambles. You had um, a lot of gold coins in circulation essentially no silver. And then the copper and base metal coins that you did have in circulation were very small. Um, you'd have to pay in kind of sacks of currency to get any transaction done. Um, so what Anastasius I did in the Eastern Empire after the Western Empire fell was to rejig the monetary system and issue a few new coins. So what he did is he made the fractional gold, so kind of the smaller denominations of gold, more prevalent than they were under previous emperors, as well as reforming the very small huge number of base metal coins into two large coin with 40, a smaller coin with 20, and he still had some 10, 5, and 1 coins in circulation. But they weren't the only coins in circulation, so effectively resolving the problem of using change in transactions. The reference number for this coin is Seer Byzantine 8, and as they are quite available on the market, they can range from anywhere from 100 to 500 US dollars. As this coin is on the higher end of that scale, it's worth about 400 US dollars. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, don't forget to subscribe for more numismatic content delivered right to your homepage. Peace.